Disney World is a massive vacation destination. The four theme parks themselves make for a big enough feat, but it's the 20 plus resorts on property and their 36,000 hotel rooms that really make the place feel like its own world. That many hotel rooms means a lot of bed sheets and towels, not to mention the uniforms for tens of thousands of cast members who work at the resorts and the parks. So when all is said and done, how do you wash all of that? How much laundry is Disney doing? The answer is a lot, with a lot of cast members making it happen. Disney touts that on an average day, they're washing 285,000 pounds of linens and dry cleaning anywhere between 30 and 32,000 garments. For a sense of perspective, if you did five loads of laundry a day, every day of the year, it would still take you over a decade to finish a day's worth of laundry at Disney World. So obviously, Disney isn't using the local Orlando laundromats to get the job done. In fact, they're not even taking it off property. Disney does all of their own laundry in-house, at not one or two, but up to four different locations. Their textile service building is a 200,000 square foot laundry facility, making it one of the largest in the world. It's capable of processing anywhere between two to 2.3 million pounds of textiles per week during the peak season. The facility uses something called tunnel washers. Imagine these big, long machines with a giant corkscrew-like system of chambers inside. The dirty linens go in one end into a chamber, and after that chamber finishes its task, whether it's pre-wash, wash, or rinse, the linens are then pushed into the next chamber when the entire thing rotates. It keeps doing this until they're finished being washed, and then they pop out the other end. The water used during this process is drained out so that it can be treated, cleaned, and eventually reused. This design allows for a near constant flow of washing. The entire process is computerized and the machines can be customized to have up to 20 compartments and depending on the model can handle batches between 55 and 220 pounds. From there, the linens go to a dewatering press. The name's pretty self-explanatory, but it's basically a machine that compresses the batch of linens into a big puck shape and in the process squeezes out most of the water. After that, they go into large batch industrial dryers, which are twice as tall as the average person and, depending on the model, can handle up to 600 pounds of laundry at a time. Finally, just before the linens are completely dry, they're put into large ironing presses that finish drying the sheets, removes any wrinkles, and folds them up so that they can be put back in a cart and shipped back to their resort. Disney's costume specialty plant, as the name implies, primarily services the tens of thousands of cast member costumes that require regular cleaning. The 60,000 square foot facility houses around 120 employees who clean over 30,000 costumes a day via both dry and wet cleaning. In order to organize all of these outfits, the facility has a computer operated rail system that brings the costumes to where they need to go in order to get cleaned and picked up. And the RF chip and barcode system on the garments allow them to see which pieces are at the laundry and what's been checked in and checked out. Their newest location, the Resort Linen Plant, also known as the Fourth Laundry Operation, opened in 2015 and is a 128,000 square foot building that services much of the linens for Disney World's value resorts. Since it's a newer building, on top of the more traditional machinery used elsewhere like the tunnel washers, it also features more cutting edge technology, such as air suction tubes that transport the linens and machines that can actually automatically sort, separate, and fold them. Love to have that in my apartment. Probably can't afford it. Nope, I know I can't afford it. Last but not least, surprisingly, is their food and beverage facility. At 25,000 square feet, it's the smallest of them. And by the name, you can tell it's primarily a facility for the resort's food and beverages. According to a 2012 interview with the TRSA, the Textile Rental Services Association, the location also houses large-scale 100 to 150 pound washers, a tunnel washer, and five dryers for all of Walt Disney World's cloth napkins. It's there where a team of five cast members on two shifts would work full-time feeding the 32 variants of napkin colors into the machines. We usually don't think much of it, 
we head out to the parks and we come back to a clean room with fresh sheets. But to make that happen requires some pretty impressive technology and most importantly, hundreds of cast members. They work at locations that act as hidden gears that are turning every single day in order to keep one of the largest vacation destinations running smoothly. I want to thank you all for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. And I also want to take a moment to thank my patrons. You make these videos possible and you allow me to continue to make them without having to plug website builders or VPN services. If you want to learn more about how to become a patron and some of the behind the scenes perks that are offered, head on over to patreon.com slash robplays.